right, so popping right into Crypto Corner here. Uh, the first one is actually going to be like a, this maybe a Crypto Corner short would be a better way to describe it because, sorry, uh, I think I, I think I scared him a little bit. He got, he popped back. Um, because there's not much to talk about here, but I did want to talk about it because I've been tagged in it a couple of times and it's something that, um, I am interested in. Um, I, I did have, you know, a plan to talk about at some point. I actually was, when I was doing my flea circus video, this, this topic kept coming into my head and I was, uh, uh, toying with the idea of, uh, of talking about it. And what we have here is, uh, <clears throat> these newly released images of a mermaid mummy. This is, um, Japanese of course, but, uh, kind of a wicked looking creature here. Look at the face and the, the teeth. Uh, I don't think that those, uh, teeth are naturally that sharp. I think they've been filed probably. Um, this is definitely a monkey's face. Let's read what this, uh, this article has to say about it though. Researchers in Japan are investigating the origins of a nightmarish 300 year old mummified mermaid, which has been worshipped for centuries due to its supposed medicinal properties. The haunting remains are most likely a gruesome amalgam of a monkey's torso sewed onto a fish tail, potentially embellished with hair and nails from a human. Hiroshio Kinoshida, board member of the Okayama Folklore Society, discovered the mermaid mummy, which is around 12 inches long, 30, about 30.5 centimeters long, inside a box at a temple in Okayama Prefecture. I'm not sure where Okayama is. Uh, if anybody wants to locate that, was it in uh, which island of in Japan it's on? He first became aware of the mummy after he found a picture of a bizarre specimen in an encyclopedia of mythical creatures. A fisherman supposedly caught the specimen with specimen sometime between 1736 and 1741, and he subsequently sold it to an affluent family. According to a note left inside the mummy's box, researchers still don't know exactly how the mermaid ended up inside the temple. According to Japanese news site, uh, the Asahi Shimbun. Now, Takafumi Kato, a paleontologist at the uh, Kuwashiki University of Science and Arts, and colleagues have begun looking into the mummy's origins after Kinoshida convinced the temple to let the scientists investigate the unusual remains. On February 2nd, the scientist imaged the mummy using a CT scan. As seen in this video, researchers will also take DNA samples to identify which species have been combined to make the mermaid. The team will release the results later this year, they said. So we will follow back up on this. This is not the end of the road for uh, for this freaky little mermaid mummy. Um, let's look at these some of these pictures real quick and see what exactly we're dealing with. Okay. Um, the fingernails, they said, are probably fake, probably applied on there. The teeth, I think they've been filed. Uh, the nostrils are pointing down, so this is definitely an old world monkey. Um, platyrines have uh, nostrils facing outward, um, whereas catarines have, fate, like yourself, have nostrils facing down. We are catarines too. Um, and uh, the the... I mean, it's 300 years old. This taxidermy is uh, actually probably pretty good. I'm into taxidermy. Um, anybody who uh, anybody who frequents the hive knows that uh, that taxidermy is something I'm into. Uh, mostly, I taxidermy uh, arthropods, though. So, uh, yeah. So this is an interest of mine. Uh, so that is why I thought that I better go ahead and talk about it. Uh, there's the the paper that that come with it uh, that comes with it. There's is very small in the box. Um, we get a better look at the fish tail in this image. Uh, not a real good look at it though. Mostly focusing on the monkey part. Uh, let's see here. 
There's how the scales. And we already saw that picture. Okay, so that is what our creature looks like. The mermaid mummy somewhat resembles two mythical creatures from Japanese folklore. The Amabis, mermaids which break, in, which uh, mermaids with beaks instead of mouths and three distinct tail fins. So they have they have beaks. This one does not have a beak, so I'm saying it's not an amabi. And the uh, nin ningayos, uh, which are fish-like creatures with human heads. Both of these types of creatures have been associated with stories of miraculous health cures and increased longevity. In one famous tale, Yao uh, Bikuni, a woman is said to have lived for 800 years after accidentally eating an entire Ningayo, according to the UK news site Metro. The temple's priest looked, or the temple's priests look to the mummy as an omen of good health. We have worshipped it, hoping that it would help alleviate the coronavirus pandemic, even if only slightly. Kozen Kuda, Kuda the head priest of the temple, told the Asahi, Asahi Shimbun. The mummy was previously put on display in a glass case at the temple for visitors to pray to, but it has spent the last 40 years in a prior, fireproof safe within the temple to prevent it from deteriorating. Similar mermaid mummies have been worshipped at two other temples in Japan, according to the Asahi Shimbun. These fake mermaids were likely created by local people to sell to curious Western tourists. Live Science previously reported a similar hoax known as the Fiji mermaid was sold to a Dutch traveler in Japan in the 1810s and later resold to English merchants before being shipped to the U.S. where it became part of the famous collection of P.T. Barnum, a re the real-life inspiration for the movie The Greatest Showman. Who didn't know that? <laughs> This three foot long, 91 centimeter mermaid is believed to have been made from the body of an orangutan and the tail of a salmon. The priest of the temple of Okayama Prefe Prefecture. <laughs> that's funny, it's the English word that's tripping me up with that. I'm fine with the Okayama and then I get to prefecture and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, say they hope that the new study will add the. Uh, Add to the mummified mermaid's legacy and help it live on through future folklore. I hope the research project can leave scientific records for our future generations, Kudu told the Asani Shimbun. All right, so this is not a new thing. Uh, as it said here, there was the famous Fiji mermaid as displayed by P.T. Barman, Barnum that was actually destroyed in a fire, I believe the original was. But the thing about these uh, taxidermy monsters is there's 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 plenty to go around. Um, here's the Fiji mermaids uh, made from different apes and uh, different uh, conglomerations of, of organisms, uh, mostly like I said, fish and, and primates. But they they, they are uh, there's a few different museums that have uh, have these on display, so they're not they're not rare. Here's a sock monkey virgin, or version. Yeah, look at that. Sock monkey, Fiji mermaid. Uh, we've seen uh, x-rays of them to see kind of what they, uh, how they're put together, uh, how they, the one organism feeds into the next. So these are a well-known uh, Victorian. They, they've made their way in, well, should I say Victorian. They were big in, uh, in, the Far East before we visit, revisiting the Far East, I guess they were they were big in the um, in the like the early 1800s and even before that. Uh, but you know when we get to uh, the Victorian era, that's when we really start to see them uh, showing up in curios and uh, in circuses and, and uh, freak shows and things like that. Uh, but yeah, there was a they, and the funny thing is they'd use these these types of advertisements for them. Uh, to uh, to get people to come in, and they they think they were going to see something like this, and get in there, and they see something more like this. Uh, gonna be kind of jarring, uh, yeah. But that was the Fiji mermaid, a uh, little short uh, 
snippet for Crypto Corner this morning. Uh, I hope uh, everybody enjoyed that. Uh, we do. Uh, hope you uh, you come back, and if you're watching this on uh, on Friday at uh, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, thank you so much for joining us in the Hive today. 